Hey guys, Sausage here, and welcome to a Meatball and Sausage News. It's been a little while since I've done one of these, and I have plenty of things to tell you. Um, before I get a million and one questions, though, no, this isn't a brand new Minecraft series that I've decided to start. Yes, it is the Yogg's Craft Pack. This is my little single player world that I've been doing on my own for a little bit. Um, what I've been doing off cam mostly is getting to grips with a lot of the crops that I will be growing on the actual main series, so this could potentially be spoilers, though I'm not sure. Because um, the main series is going to continue, I have currently got a couple of episodes of that all done, I can't remember, it's been a while. But yeah, um, I thought I would just use this single player wall to give you some news, really. I've got a fair bit of news. The first one, and the best bit of news, uh, everybody, well, quite a few of you may or may not have known that I, a little while ago, back in October, I got myself a girlfriend. On the channel, she's known as Cheesecake, so if you ever have anyone who has been referenced as Cheesecake, that would be the girlfriend. However, we no longer call her girlfriend. Because a while ago, back in April, uh, the 21st to be precise, at exactly 37 minutes past 1 in the afternoon, I asked her to marry me. And she said yes. So I am engaged. So I have been engaged for a, f a while now, considering we're in June and I asked in April, but we wasn't. I wasn't sure if it was some news that you guys would be interested in, so I just thought I'd skip it. But yeah, so I'm, I'm engaged, that's a bit of news that you guys may or may not wanted to know. Anyway, back to channel related stuff. Uh, tomorrow, which is June the 9th, because I'm going to put this up today, which should be the 8th, hopefully, if I'm not lazy. Um, tomorrow, June the 9th, is actually a special day for the YouTube channel itself. A lot of you don't know, but the YouTube channel is actually two years old tomorrow. It's YouTube uh, Meatball and Sausage channel. It will be have its second birthday. So, yay. Which I'm really, like, got. I've got a great video planned. Um, it's going to be the birthday celebration and the 400 subscribers celebration video all rolled up into one video. And uh, if you don't want spoilers, I would uh, skip forward just a tiny bit. Okay, just a teensy tiny bit, because uh, if you don't want me to spoil it, I don't I don't really want to spoil it for you. But if you're one of these people that I'd just like to know anyway, then continue listening on. Okay, well, the video is actually going to be a top ten video. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a video about the top ten uh, retro game boss music that I like. My personal favourites. So it's a little bit of information about me, pretty much. Uh, so you get to know a little bit more about how the sort of games I was playing when I was a, a youngster, like some of you that are on the channel and whatnot. So it'll just be a bit of harmless fun, really. Is it night time? Yes. You watch these not work. Oop. Oh no, that worked. Well, that worked. Oh wow, I hit lucky there. Mandrakes can be a right pain. Oh, I'll smash that one up. But yeah, uh, also. Side note, this watering can is absolutely amazing as long as you don't mind. Ah, boring stuff, zombies. Sorry, I currently don't have sound on. I'm not listening to the game sounds. I'm just playing it mute, but you'll hear them when I've uh, done the video. But yeah, so that was the first bit of news, was me being engaged. Second bit of news is my video that I'm going to do, and the channel has a new birthday coming up. Now, the next bit isn't such as, uh, such amazing news, to be honest. Uh, is there, you may or may not have noticed, sometimes there's like two, three days gaps in between videos now, and... Uh, one sec, screw it, just put them in. Um, you may or may not know, obviously, there's two or three day gaps between the videos, and this isn't due, due to laziness whatsoever at all. Uh, this, there's a monster, isn't it? Oh, sorry, monster. this is due to the fact that I am running out of ideas. Um, the channel is sort of alright. There are a few things I do like about it. Where are the monsters then? Didn't see any. Uh, there's a few things I do like about it and a few things I don't. I don't know why this lags because I have that on. I want that off. Okay, die in the face. Anyway, um, yeah, I do like some things about it and others I do hate. Um, so yeah, I will want to keep 
the uh, meat, the sneaky, um, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky meek peek. That's a new series. No, the meaty sneak peek. I do like doing those, and I've got plenty of new games. I say no, some of them might be really old, but I've got some new games for the channel. Put it that way. But plenty of games for the channel that I haven't shown yet. Uh, that I have bought while they've been on sale on Steam, and I'll need to check the Steam sale actually. I've not checked that just yet. See, because there's, there's usually a whole bunch of new ones up for a week, and then the weekly deals, and I usually snap up any good ones or potentially bad ones if anything like Hydrophobia appears. Which was just a laugh in the first place anyway, but a lot of you agreed with what I said. It was the worst game in humankind. It literally was terrible. If you haven't seen the video of that, go ahead and watch the Hydrophobia Prophecy video that I've done a Meaty Sneak Peek on. It is amazingly awesomely crap. <laughs> Uh, not the video, the video's alright, I guess. It's just me ram ra 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 rabbiting on about a load of rubbish. Although it can't be as bad as whatever that is. Anyway, you're probably wondering what this house is, I'll show you the house. Um, but yeah, so I'm just running out of ideas. I want to change some things up and then give uh, Meatball and Sausage a way of getting people to watch. Um, I've got nothing against the amount of subscribers we're getting, it's amazing, but I would like to try and speed it up now. I mean, we have been at around the two, uh, the 300, 400 mark now, between 300 and 400 uh, since like uh, last year, sometime. I can't quite remember the exact dates, and I'm getting slaughtered out here. Let's go into this place. Ooh. Oh, there's a mana creeper in there. Trust that. <sighs> Yo, away. <sighs> uh, but yeah, so I would like to get something new in there to try and bring more people in. So you might see a random videos popping up now and again doing all sorts of things. Anyway, little story behind this. Yeah, every single one of these is a carpenter's block. You can change the block to look like whatever you want which is cobblestone and then on the front you can add a layer so like wallpaper and flooring which I think is amazing and if you hold shift when you want to place something down you just place it on top of the wallpaper seamlessly. So you can literally customise every wall. And this is a uh, uh, not un real, fairly unfinished model of a house I used to live in before where I live now. The, where I used to live was a little place in uh, Leicester called Ayers Monsel. It's not very nice whatsoever, but it, it, it was a house. For those of you who are British, you'll know what the council are like. They're lazy... yeah, lazy people. You're not coming in! But yeah, this was where I used to live, in this little house. So you walk through your front door, because that's what that is. And then you'd have this little bit here, minus the gap. And this was... Needs repair. Um, this was just like a little place where we used to store our coats and shoes and stuff. And then you had this little hidey hole underneath the stairs. Again, we had... When we was really young, we kept all our toys in here. So at the back, we had like Lego bricks in a giant wooden box. And we had some top trumps and stuff in there. Uh, then we had the, the kitchen. This, is, this was the kitchen. Totally different colours to the ones that we had, actually. Uh, but this was the kitchen and behind us it was literally just like a dividing wall there and then we had the back room which led to the back door which led to a tiny little garden this bigger than it actually was trust me the garden was teeny couldn't even swing a mouse in it this was the living room it was quite spacious and hideously green which is hence the colours uh, we had our TV over in this corner my pet guinea pig shadow was staying there we had like uh, two chairs there and the sofa over here which is kinda cool and then you come upstairs, you had your landing window, then some more stairs, then just above me right there was the actual hatch to get into the loft. This was a cupboard, we put crap in that cupboard quite honestly, everyone has a crap cupboard. Then you met this hallway full of doors. On the left we have two bedrooms, on the right we have the bathroom, toilet and in the front is another bedroom. This was where the toilet was. Yes, we had the walls this colour, bright orange. It was literally just a toilet in front, just there. That was it. Nothing else in there. Here we had um, the sink around about here-ish. And then the bathtub was up, took up the entire space there. And there was a window up here, but it's a bit awkward to put in. Uh, just so you know, I had been in every one of the rooms that we had here. So this was a bedroom. I spent a good long time in this room. Uh, before I left, it literally looked out onto the front where we, we saw like a car park. And then uh, I have also been in this room, which was a back bedroom. And where was that creeper I just looked at? 
out there on top of a spider, bloody hell. This was the back bedroom, I did stay in here for a very long time too, and I've also had this room, which is another back bedroom. The crafting table, very nice. But yeah, so that was the house that I used to live in. So that's what that is for all of those people out there that were wondering, what's that sausage? And the other thing is just a building that I've built to stay in for a bit. Just a little wooden building. And I must say, I do like these wedges. They're awesome. Anyway, channel news. Ideas that I will be coming up with. The um, special video that I'm going to bring up, I won't tell you what it is again for those people. Uh, for the, uh, put my words in. The special video that I'm going to put out tomorrow for the birthday and for the 400 subscriber celebration, those who listen to know what it is, it's actually going to hopefully be the start of a new series that I'll have on, maybe once twice a week or once every two weeks, I don't know. So I might do something along those lines which would be fantastic. That should stop. And it did. But yeah, so... I'm hopefully bring those in because they're sort of the things that can bring a lot of subscribers in. Uh, those who have no idea what the video is, you'll know tomorrow and it'll make sense to you. But they're the type of video that can bring a fair few subscribers in. How dare you set me on fire? But yeah, um. Also, another thing, meaty sneak peeks will continue because I do like doing those. It's kind of like my opinion. Uh, those people who uh, watch them and suddenly think, hang on, but this game's amazing. I want to tell you it's my opinion of the game. If I say I don't like a game, that's because I personally don't like it. You can like games that I might not like, like for some people watching, they might like playing Call of Duty. I can't stand the Call of Duty series, I really cannot. The single player games aren't that really amazing, and multiplayer, unless you are absolutely gifted at an FPS version of God, you don't stand a chance and it's actually kind of annoying getting killed all the time. So I don't touch Call of Duty. But, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Meaty Sneak Peek is my opinion. Yes, it will be biased. It's just what I think of the game. Also, it's a good chance of me showing you some really good games that I like. And Giant Mountains. Yay. Uh, those of you who want to know what this seed is. Eh, slash seed. There you go. Pause the video, write it down. You can have the seed. Coordinates are just underneath my clock. In the top right there? Yes? Good. Okay. Now you can teleport to those coordinates too to have this exact spot if you wish. I would recommend this exact spot because you've got these giant mountains just behind here. And the reason I picked this is because just over the road from this giant frozen waste is... If I look down, so I don't have any spoilers, you can see on the minimap though, a giant hell. This is literally a giant lava land with bright red water. Yes. Bright. Red. Water. No wonder water it's blue. Go figure. Ow! On fire! Oh god, I could die here. Ow! Uh, plus this ash makes you walk slow, but we've got a giant volcano right next to my frozen wastes. Yeah, I've even built a portal over there because it's quite fitting being here. But I'll show you the map. This thing is pretty huge. I didn't spawn here. I actually found this one adventuring because I like adventuring for a place first. Some of you may know. Teleport back home. Yay. I'm not risking death. Let's get some food. So, okay. Quick recap of what has gone on in the video. I'm going to wrap this up now because I don't want to be waffling on for any longer. I've got things I need to sort out like the video for tomorrow, it's taking me some time to sort it through. Okay, quick recap. News number one, I got engaged. So yay for me. Uh, number two, tomorrow is Meatball on Sausage Channel's second birthday. Started it on June the 9th, 2012. This is, well it's either, it's either second or third. I'll, I'll tell you in the video for tomorrow. Second or third, one of the two, I can't quite remember. Um, what else did I say? New stuff coming for the channel. I apologise for the lack of videos, but there will be a fair dry patch while I'm trying to think of some interesting things to put on. You will still get your other stuff. Um, I even did do a couple of episodes of a Skyblock, uh, uh, Agrarian Skies, Agrarian Skies. I did do a couple of episodes on that because that is an absolutely fantastic Skyblock um, map and the way of playing it. It's just modded, it's got an actual point to it, there's an end goal that is just fantastic rather than your normal one. So I'm going to do a bit of that, see how well that goes. 
uh, that should be up fairly soon as well. Terraria, that will continue. Um, I've just been busy sorting stuff out because soon I will be going back to college um, and learning 2D animation, 3D animation, video editing with all, sorts of all sorts of different video software. I will be learning how to make an actual game, so I'll become a games designer. A very basic one, but you never know, you might have a game from me in the future released to the public, which will get me a lot of a attention on the channel, if I manage it and if it's any good. Yeah. If I invent something like Flappy Bird, shoot me. Sorry, Flappy Bird fans. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, sorry for balling, uh, balling, boring you all to death. I'll try not to do it so much. But tomorrow, brand new video for a brand new series that will should be a running thing every now and then on the channel. So look forward to that. And don't forget to post happy birthday to the channel on that video tomorrow. So thank you all very much for watching. And I'll catch you all next time for some more meatball and sausage related news. I have been Sausage. And this has been the Meatball and Sausage News. Take care now, and stay cool. Bye! I am never doing that again.